Now it's time to <clears throat> work on my uh, 10 meter uh, antenna. I had originally thought that I would, um, just as an example, use the uh, 6 meter tubing that I've got already done up for my uh, antenna and then just attach another piece of tubing to make the full length for the 10 meter. I would uh, solder on an adapter that goes over here, uh, cut a little notch into it, slide it onto the, the 6 meter antenna and then just hose clamp that tight and then I would have a, what is it, like an 8 foot Eight foot leg of the uh, of the dipole, but I just did some uh, Google searches on on uh, 10 meter tube dipoles and don't see a lot out there. In fact, a lot of people do say that um, because of copper, first of all, but also the length that it, uh, it's, it has a high chance of folding under its own weight. And so I don't even want to go there. And so um, the other alternative was I've got some um, some solid copper wire some 12 uh, 12 gauge I guess it's 12 AWG and I've already cut out nine foot lengths two nine foot lengths and I'll go ahead and solder on um, solder on these um, I don't even know what you call these things uh, these eyelet connectors or lugs and uh, this will uh, this will then just go over the screw that I currently have my uh, copper tubing on I'll have to take the copper tubing off and then put these on or I'm not sure if I can do it yet I'll have to experiment maybe I could keep the copper tubing on and then just uh, put a nut nut this on to the to the existing bolt that's holding the tube on the copper tubes on and then just maybe that would be the quickest way but I don't know if that's going to work I've got an MFJ uh, 259 that I'll, I'll have to make sure that that's going to work before I uh, before I transmit over that. Anyway, just starting out on it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I, I like to experiment. This hobby is great for that. So we'll see what happens. Whew. I think I need a break. I got to catch my breath. I'm working on the uh, 10 meter antenna. Boy, I tell you, it's a going from the basement to the attic in the third floor back and forth back and forth of course if I would just uh, get my tools and everything right the first time I wouldn't have to worry about that always forgetting something anyway this is the uh, the mayhem left over from making my 10 meter antenna it's a dipole I use some uh, solid copper 12 AWG uh, wiring ground wiring that I had left over from a project and uh, Use some of that fiber or plexiglass that I had got for free. And used a um, <clears throat> fiberglass cutter to make it. I don't know. It's about two inch by by three inch, two inch by four inch. Drilled some holes in it for the to run the wire through and also the um, the rope to fasten it. Uh, while I'm here, just wanted to show everybody a. Uh, I added a uh, on the uh, on the shack box, I guess is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I added a uh, fan. K7AG recommended I could get something to cool down the box. Got that from a, an old uh, PC. I used uh, this extra copper pipe that I had left over from the uh, six meter antenna for my ground bus. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go to the uh, attic. It's first floor, then going up the second floor, up to the second floor. Uh, second floor. Ah, goodness gracious! All right. So I've got my MFG 259 in. Attached to the dipole. Uh, this time I think you can see. Um, let's see if I get 29.3, 29. It's resonant. 20, right around there. About uh, I'm showing a visoire of under under two. 
So I think that would be all right. And then we go to the attic. And let me see if I can, I don't think you can see it. There's the green insulation of the uh, wire. the uh, plexiglass. It took a long time to get this thing uh, tuned up. There's a lot of uh, variables when you're talking about a wire. One of which is the uh, the angle to the uh, to the connection. I'm finding that uh, I, I guess when you lower the uh, the far end of the cable it shortens I don't know, does it shorten the, um, the, uh, I'm lost, lost for words here. I don't think we can see this one. It's kind of dark. It's the same basic thing. But I just reused my six meter. And, uh, I'm able to, uh, using these, uh, wing nuts, I'm able to, uh, loosen this and raise it and lower it. Had to lower it quite a bit to get the horizontal um, horizontal um, angle, what the 180 degree angle. I tried it at different angles. It seems the uh, the best is straight across. I have no idea if it needs to be tight and all the kinks taken out. I guess I'll play with that. Um, but anyway, whew, I'm uh, I just can't seem to wait. I just move on to the next project. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get on the air today. Got some other things I've got to do, domestic chores. But anyway, I'm done with that. It took me, I don't know, maybe an hour to get everything done. It took longer to to tune the antenna to resonance than it did anything else. Hi, right. KD9 Alpha Delta Bravo 73s.